people work towards getting honors. I want to learn a mural life here. Mama Ella, you are with me. Honorable Dunstan St. Omar, celebrated son of the soil, artist extraordinaire, was declared a national cultural hero on his 80th birthday in October 2007. The initiative taken by the Jubilee Trust Fund in collaboration with the Folk Research Center and the Cultural Development Foundation was in honor of his unparalleled contribution to the development of art in St. Lucia. St. Omar has now joined the ranks of other national cultural heroes like Dame Sassen Descart and the late Harold Simmons, who incidentally greatly influenced his early painting career. Dunstan St. Omar was born in Castres, St. Lucia, the second of three children. He attended the St. Aloysius Alcee Boys School and St. Mary's College. In 1949, while teaching part-time at St. Mary's College and the extramural department of the University of the West Indies, he received a 13-month scholarship to study art in Puerto Rico. In 1950, at the age of 22, Sedoma was given his first church commission by the Vicar General of the Roman Catholic Church in St. Lucia, Father Joseph Renault. He was invited to paint the altar of Our Lady's Chapel in La Clary. This production is not intended to chronicle the life and work of St. Omar. It will focus instead on a special activity held in the community of Jackman in the Rosa Parish on October 2007 to honor him as a national cultural hero. The Rosa Parish was erected on January 1, 1962. The first church, a wooden structure, placed on the present site in July 1960, was blessed and dedicated to the Holy Family on November 6, 1960. In 1972, the then parish priest, Father Maxim Parkey of the FMI Fathers, contracted Mr. Samuel Sambo Ajuda of Ancillary to commence construction of a new church which was completed shortly before Easter of 1973. It was then that Dunstan Sodoma was commissioned to paint a mural in time for the blessing of the church at Easter of the same year. The work was completed in three weeks and it cost the parish $300. The decision to keep that activity dubbed Jeunet saint Omer is most appropriate since one of his best produced paintings is in that community, namely the famous Holy Family mural in the Church of the Holy Family. As Junior St. Omar got underway, scores of well-wishers, family members, government officials, and other dignitaries, joined by members of the parish, congregated at the Church of the Holy Family in Chapmel to participate in activities that would last for all the day.
Isn't it a wonderful day? Hmm? Beautiful. Jordi has some bel jour, un joli jour. Puisque Jordi a nous célébré ce qui n'a jamais fait en l'histoire de cette ici. Never before in the history of the church in St. Lucia have we had such a celebration. I want you all children to listen carefully to what Mr. Dunstan St. Thomas has tried to do. When you look in front here, you see a shak shak man playing a shak shak. And you see two dancers dancing. And you see a chatwell singing away. Now, why would Mr. St. Omer, in the middle of a church, put dancers and chatwell and shak shak people? Why would he do that? Huh? Children, you know why? To help St. Lucians understand that if you play in the shak shak, you must give glory to? God. If you're dancing the day bought, you have to give glory to? God. And when you're using your voice to sing, you must give glory to? God. Everything you do, your music, your dance, your song, must be giving glory to God. But look on this side, what do we have here? We have a lady pulling the net. We have a lady cutting bananas. We have a man cutting bananas. We have a fisherman coming back from sea. What is he talking about there? He's talking about your daily bread. Your daily bread, your livelihood, your living. Tout ça nous ni, c'est bon Dieu qui va nous. Tout ça nous fait, c'est bon Dieu qui va nous. That is what he's saying. Your work, your labor, your daily occupation, that you must consecrate to God. God must be in everything. But you know what I love about that mural? Is the church. Hmm? He has Sambo Ajuda from Ansari and the late Father um, Pake, Maxime Pake. Father Maxime Pake was the one who was the parish priest there and Sambo was a contractor. The love between Mary and Jesus is one of the themes that Dunstan uses in his, his uh, paintings. What we call the Madonna, mother and child. But in this painting, Dunstan is showing, saying to us and the, to the people of Roto Jackmel, just as Mary loves Jesus and Jesus loves Mary, so Jean Jacmel was Braden, you must love your child, mother and child. Hmm? Mother and child. So the local family, local mother and child, should emulate the mother and child that is Jesus and Mary. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm? With that mass in the morning arranged by the people in um, uh, Rosu Jacmel, you know. You, one would not believe it. It was, I felt it was greater than anything, you, as great as anything you can have at the Vatican, or maybe greater because it had so much more meaning. It was so St. Lucian. You know, um, St. Lucian, it was, it's just impossible. All I feel is that people who miss that thing, is something they actually miss because it cannot be repeated. St. Thomas sees the Jack Mill Church mural as embracing the totality of a community, the livelihood of its people, deeply immersed in a social, political, cultural, and spiritual consciousness. And it is in Jack Mill, it's their own thing in their own church, do you know what I mean? And, it, and, and they cherish it as that. And so in one mural, I was able I tried at least, you know, because I call this uh, contemporary renaissance. So that when you went to Rome and you saw the great murals by the great masters, your mind used to go and see that this, uh, that is another world. But when you come here now, there is the same thing right here, and it is peopled by solutions so that the people are seeing people they know on the altar and so the, for the, it is 
an indig indigenous religious experience. <laughs> The afternoon session of the Jeunet saint Thomas depicted an atmosphere similar to Jeunet Coyol, with booths displaying a variety of Coyol dishes, cultural performances, and an arts and craft exhibition. According to the organizers, the event involved much planning. Yes, a lot of work, a lot of planning. The person behind the vision and the dream, of course, is Papa, Monsignor Patrick Anthony, who called us together, Jubilee Trust Fund, Focus Earth Center, the CDF and the Jackmel Parish to make sure we honor Dunson Santomo on his 80th birthday. And we're better to come than to the Jackmel Parish, where one of his most famous church murals is. And if you see behind us right now, the people have responded, they have welcomed the activity. They, of course, are the vendors selling food and drink, so they benefited economically. But I think they appreciate the attention, the fact we've come to them, and Dunson himself has returned to them and it's worth to give thanks. Nous venons pour faire toute cette de performance là, Monsieur Saint Thomas, tout le monde a géré, tout le monde a bail plaisir pour montrer manière. Nous apprécions tout le travail là, Monsieur Saint Thomas, fait bail nous tout. Et nous sorti au Wan, toute cette qualité commune qui est au Wan Jack Mel, Rosso, Millet, Place là, oui. Pourquoi ça a voulu dire pour commune Jack Mel et pour cette lycée généralement? Eh bien, on cherche mon à commencer car ouais, oui, chasse, oui, chasse là qui est Jack Mel. Parce que ça me dit on cherche qu'il dit qu'il est vivant toujours en Jack Mel. Nous on cherche c'est différent gars. Maman est l'école. Dans ces pas quoi drill avec la comète tout seul parce que nous ni la petite car ouais, yo dans ces quoi drill là qu'à comète. Mais tout ça dans ces africains, yo qu'à commencer car à prendre les. Yo dans ces belles côtes, yo dans ces belles. Ok, so yo qu'à prendre à prendre tout ça dans ces africains. Et que quand j'ai entendu l'autre, je pense que vous voulez que c'est à prendre ces danses ça. Si vous commencez à danser, et que vous commencez à danser avec Jerry, si vous allez aller à une direction qui est bien positive pour qu'il y ait cette ici. Pour la première fois dans Saint Lucia, nous avons cette chose qui se passe à Rosal Jacmel, et je suis très fier. What does that mean for the community of Jack Mel? Well, it is an upliftment for the community of Jack community of Jack Mel right now. We have been honored because of the mural we have there. St. Omer's influence on in the development of art locally was quite evident at the Jeune St. Omer activity. When I, when, when, I, I, when I learned that he was the artist who created the national flag, I, I, I felt very proud to, to see that at least uh, he's an artist right here in our, in our island, um, um, inspired to, to, to create that, 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 the concept of the flag. And, also, even the, 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 the style of his work, it, it captures this sort of sense of nationalism, you see. So I, I, I feel quite 
inspired by, by, by him. He's, he's, he's one of the icons that I, I, I admire. Depuis que je suis venu à l'église Jack Mel, chaque fois que je suis venu, je me suis dit que je suis venu à l'église de Jack Mel. Je me suis dit que je suis venu à l'église de Jack Mel. Avec Wivé Hodia, je suis venu à l'église de Jack Mel. Le honneur que je suis venu n'est pas un honneur comme je suis venu. Vous avez un honneur comme les gens qui travaillent pour obtenir des honneurs. Sobies, Ambies, Knighthoods et ainsi de suite. But it's a different kind of honor. It is, you're working among the people, you're doing something with the people, and they're showing you their full appreciation. That's all, that's, that's the honor that there is in it. The main event was designed to bestow the much deserved honor, national cultural hero, on the Honorable Dunstan Sonoma. Among the many who again assembled for this momentous occasion, was Governor General Dame Paulette Louisi, who took time out to view some of the art exhibits. The evening began with St. Omar being serenaded by Ronald Bouhings. And Le Feu François. Thank you. 
Assisi must have guarded 800 years ago in the Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi to admire the frescoes of Chimabue and his collaboration with Giotto. And as the master Chimabue was celebrated in such incredible achievements as the Stravini Chapel frescoes of his student Giotto, today we lord the master Harold Harry Simmons in the outstanding achievement of his son, Dunstan St. Omer Gregorius Apilo. Today is one of the greatest days in my life, not because I got um, uh, the honor. I'm too conceited for that. I felt as if I had it already. So, so, so that's, that's not the point. But the way, but what happened today was, you know, a manifestation of civilization, that's what I want. Ah, civilization, love, beauty. You saw the musicians come up here and the singers and the performers and you experienced a level of excellence and beauty that I'm sure all of you, many of you may never have thought existed in this country. And all of that could not happen unless Father Anthony was so persistent in his dream of, first of all, creating the Fuchs Research Center, his whole life dedicated to maintaining, sustaining the cultural life of the people of St. Lucia. A number of other musicians, artists, poets, as well as representatives of the corporate community were present at the Jackmel Church of the Holy Family for that historical event. We now present some highlights. Along the way, roadwork gangs worked in the punishing heat and the dust and the noise and the smell of progress toward whatever it was that progress was supposed to be leading us toward. 
not the village, which, as it grew larger, was diminishing. The dust, it was phantasmagorical, how it, it could suddenly blot out bits of the landscape, trees wavering briefly and receding into a gray haze of vehicles, men, vegetation, merged in an undistinguishing slow motion flurry. <laughs> de Chantouel. As you all know, a few weeks ago, Honorable Dunson St. Thomas celebrated his 80th birthday. And also, for those of you who don't know, I learned this morning at the church service that today they're celebrating their 55th wedding anniversary. So because of the birthday and the anniversary, we at First National Bank decided to put a little something together so they can buy something special for themselves. So we have a check here of $2,000 to present to Mr. and Mr. St. Thank you very much for your attention. May the Holy Spirit always fill your hearts with love. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever.